Hello everyone. This is the third video on my video series on X-rays in pediatrics. I have already covered the first part in first video and also I have covered the abnormal radiological finding in the heart and diaphragm in second video and in this third video I am going to show you some of the abnormal uh, chest X-ray with the pleural and pericardial diseases. This is the X-ray of a newborn who was admitted in NICU for the respiratory failure. Patient was on ventilator support and then patient was not maintaining SpO2 even with the highest parameter. In this condition, we have to suspect the barotrauma also. So in this X-ray, when you see the this part of the left lung field, this is the radiolucent shadow is present throughout this lung field and this shadow is not having any bronchovascular marking. So whenever there is a radiolucent shadow without bronchovascular marking, we should suspect that air in the pleural cavity. Also you can see the dome of diaphragm is also lower than the normal position and it is also flattened. So curvature of the diaphragm is also altered and the position is also altered. So one abnormal radiological finding is radiolucent left shadow without any bronchovascular marking. Another abnormal finding is flattened left dome of diaphragm and also uh, lower than the normal expected position. Now here you can see this is the collapsed left lung. So this is the collapsed left lung because of the left-sided pneumothorax. So this patient was having the left pneumothorax. We have to differentiate this radiolucent shadow from the emphysema. So whenever patient is having emphysema, then bronchovascular markings will be visible in the radiolucent shadow. And another thing, dome of the diaphragm, uh, curvature of the dome of the diaphragm will be maintained in the emphysema while it will be altered in the pleural disease. So after ICD insertion in this patient, in this x-ray you can see the ICD was inserted and the lung is inflated normally. So this is the marking for the ICD. And now on the right side of the lung field you can see the opacity is there. Even on in this x-ray, it is very clearly visible. So patient was also having the right middle lobe consolidation. So diagnosis for this patient is right middle lobe consolidation with left pneumothorax. This is the another x-ray of the radiolocent shadow on the right side of the lung field. So here you can see this is the radiolucent shadow without any bronchovascular marking and also you can see this is the collapsed right lung field. So right lung is collapsed because of the right sided tension pneumothorax and here you can see trachea is also shifted to the left side. So whenever there is a pleural disease, pleural effusion or pneumothorax, patient will have the shifting of the trachea toward the opposite side. And whenever there is a shift of the media stenum and heart to the opposite side, we label as a tension pneumothorax. So if patient is having radiolucent shadow without any bronchovascular marking, without media stenum shift, we simply label as a pneumothorax. Whenever there is a media stenum shift, as in this case, you can see media stenum is also shifted toward the opposite side. We label as a tension pneumothorax. So the diagnosis for this x-ray is right sided tension pneumothorax. And after ICD insertion, you can see in this x-ray after ICD insertion lung is inflated well and here is the air in subcutaneous tissue is also present. It is iatrogenic and we label as a subcutaneous emphysema for this x-ray. So diagnosis for this x-ray ICD insertion for the pneumothorax with subcutaneous emphysema.
Now I am showing you one another X-ray of the right-sided tension pneumothorax. So this is the radiolucent shadow on the right side in pleural cavity. So this is right-sided pneumothorax. This is the collapsed lung field markings. And also you can see the mediastinum is shifted toward the left side. Here is the opacity present in the left upper zone because of the left upper zone collapse also. So these are the abnormal radiological findings. So the diagnosis for this x-ray is right sided tension pneumothorax with left upper lobe collapse. This is a very classical x-ray of a newborn who was admitted in NICU with the respiratory failure. And in this x-ray, you can see this is the radiolucent shadow which is present in the right lung field. And also the dome of diaphragm is flattened. Similarly, on the left side, this is radiolucent shadow without any bronchovascular marking. And dome of diaphragm is slightly lower than the normal position and contour is also changed. So, abnormal radiological finding is bilateral radiolucent shadow without any bronchovascular marking and this is the collapsed right lung and this is the collapsed left lung so the diagnosis for this x-ray is bilateral tension pneumothorax and uh, we have to differentiate this condition from the pneumomediastinum because whenever patient is having the bilateral tension pneumothorax this continuous diaphragm sign is visible so we have to see the position of air so when the air is present in the pleural cavity it will be present in the lung filled area as in this x-ray in next slide i will show you the x-ray of a pneumomediastinum in which the air is present in the mediastinum part and we have to differentiate this condition by clinical examination also and by the position of air is it present in the lung field or in the mediastinum so this is the characteristic x-ray of the newborn who was having the pneumomediastinum so here you can see this is the continuous diaphragm sign in this mediastinal gaze outline the superior surface of the diaphragm so air is present in the superior surface of the diaphragm and this air is separated from the heart and the name of this sign is continuous diaphragm sign and it is characteristically seen in the pneumomediastinum and here also you can see the air to differentiate this condition from the pneumothorax we can go for the contralateral decubitus view also to determine whether the gaze is present in the pleural cavity or in the mediastinum so if we will change the position in contralateral decubitus view we will see the gaze will shift laterally in pneumothorax while gaze will remain medially in pneumomediastinum so but sometime the newborn is having the both pneumomediastinum and pneumothorax both because of the sum of the condition example barotrauma or some infection can lead to the pneumothorax and pneumomediastinum example if the patient is having the bacterial infection or some trauma and pneumatocele have developed and this pneumatocele will be ruptured and will lead to the either pneumothorax or pneumomediastinum or both so it may be present simultaneously also but in this x-ray when you see the lung field you can easily see the bronchovascular markings are present throughout the lung field and this uh, radiolucent shadow is only present here so this continuous diaphragm sign is because of the pneumomediastinum this is again a very classical x-ray of a newborn who was admitted in nicu for the respiratory distress syndrome here you can see this is a radiolucent shadow is present along the right heart border and this radiolucent shadow is continuous and present even along the left heart border and this characteristic radiolucent shadow band around the heart is known as halo sign 
so whenever there is a broad band of the ear is present around the heart in this shape we have to suspect that patient is having pneumopericardium while in the pneumomedial stenum either patient is having the continuous diaphragm sign as i uh, explained in the previous slide or in initial time patient may have the multiple thin lucent streaks in the pneumo mediastinum throughout the mediastinal part there will be no continuous broadband so this is characteristic hello sign or we can say isolated broadband of the air is present around the heart it is characteristically seen in the pneumopericardium this child was also having the respiratory distress syndrome so there is a bilateral air bronchogram is present so the diagnosis for this x-ray is pneumopericardium with the respiratory distress syndrome this is the x-ray of a child who was having the right sided pneumothorax so here you can see the radiolucent shadow without any bronchovascular marking and for this pneumothorax icd insertion was also done so this is the icd which is inserted for the pneumothorax and here you can see this radiolucent shadow is very deep and this is characteristic for the pneumothorax known as a deep sulcus sign and here you can see the lucent streak which is present along the upper part of the left heart border it is here in the mediastinum mediastinal gaze is most commonly visible in this position only it is just above the heart on the left side so this is the lucent streak along the left heart border in mediastinum so the diagnosis for this x-ray is right pneumothorax with icd is inserted and with pneumomediastinum this is again a very classical x-ray this is again a very classical x-ray here you can see the radiolucent uh, shadow is present in the right upper lung field and this is a homogeneous opacity present in the right lower lung field and with this differential diagnosis will be either patient is having the hydropneumothorax or patient may be having the pneumothorax with consolidation so when the opacity is homogeneous and with this air fluid level and obliterated cp angle this is a classical of hydropneumothorax while in the condition of the pneumothorax with consolidation you will see the opacity is heterogeneous having the air bronchogram cp angle will be visible and this air fluid level will not be visible in case of the consolidation with pneumothorax so this is classical air fluid level and the diagnosis for this x-ray is right sided hydropneumothorax and trachea is shifted toward the left side and the media stenum is also shifted toward the left side so we can say right sided tension hydropneumothorax this is the x-ray of a child who was having the pleural effusion for this icd insertion was also done and iatrogenic subcutaneous emphysema has also developed so the abnormal radiological findings are opacity in the right lung field and icd insertion is also done and also having the air in subcutaneous tissue so these are the abnormal radiological finding and the diagnosis for this x-ray is right sided pleural effusion with subcutaneous emphysema with icd this is the x-ray of a child and clearly you can see the icd is inserted and here the cp angle is obliterated and this is the radiolucent shadow in the left upper part and this is the homogeneous opacity in left lower part and here you can see the air fluid level also so patient is having left sided hydropneumothorax so this is the homogeneous opacity obliterated cp angle and even the obscuration of the left dome of the diaphragm and trachea is shifted toward the right side 
and the diagnosis for this x-ray will be left-sided hydropneumothorax with ICD and this heterogeneous opacity is of the collapsed left lung. This is the collapsed left lung. So left hydropneumothorax with ICD insertion will be the diagnosis for this x-ray. This is the x-ray of a 16 years old male child who was having the cough, fever and difficulty in the breathing. Here you can see the homogeneous opacity is present in the right lower lung field. And here the obliterated CP angle and obscuration of right dome of diaphragm. And here you can see the trachea in the central position. So whenever there is a pleural effusion, trachea will be shifted toward the opposite side. So this patient was having the collapse consolidation with pleural effusion. Because of this, trachea remains in the central position. And here you can see the hilar opacity also, left hilar opacity. So the diagnosis for this condition will be right lower lobe collapse consolidation with mild pleural effusion with left hilar lymphadenopathy. And this was confirmed by the CT scan. So this is all about the chest x-ray with the pleural and mediastinal disorders. Thank you so much.